I started in 76 and also I, that was the year that I started the kindergarten circus. Ron Holt was our principal the first year that I started and he was all for it, you know. And we did, it was something we did during the school and we did it at the end of the year. Since uh, we had just started kindergarten not too long before that time, uh, it was a complete new concept to me. They had some really strong feelings about let's do this because it'll be so neat for the kids. The kids are going to love this. And uh, evidently Miss Lennington had, uh, had had some opportunity to see this beforehand. And uh, so they presented, uh, presented the idea and uh, I said, hey, let's go with it. Let's do it. Sounds like, sounds like fun. I did my student teaching at Louisiana Tech on the little camp, the school on campus, and the kindergarten class there did a circus, one classroom. But they did a circus for the parents, and so that's where I got the idea, and that's where I got the song, the very beginning song, It's Fun to Be Part of the Circus. Be part of the circus, there are so many things to do, so let's all join the big top and let the spotlight shine on. Four, when we first started kindergarten at Lakeside, we had four classes. And three of the classes wanted to do it. So the three classes did our performance and we did it. We were, in the, we were down the hill in the kindergarten building, which was the old high school building. Grandparents, uncles, aunts, friends, that became a big, big thing at Lakeside in the elementary school. It really did. It was, uh, it was a good public relations activity that we did. People loved it. Of course, you know, each year the classes got bigger. We got more teachers. And so then we moved to the Ram Fieldhouse, which down the hill, and started having it in the evening. And of course, then we had bleachers for the parents to sit in too, so that was nice. <laughs> well, it started with us just hunting for some music. And we had like the Bonanza song for the bareback riders. And you know, so we baby elephant walk for the elephants and think, you know, it was just sort of searching. And we had them on cassettes. And so then it would be, you know, you would take one, put one cassette in, take it out, put the next cassette in, take it out. And that's how the music was done in the beginning. And then that It's Fun to Be Part of the Circus was also, was on a record. And then, so now it has evolved Thanks to Sarah Orr, she has brought us up to date in, in our music. She now has more, she has our modern music. You know, the teachers have the choice of what song they want to have the, their group that they're assigned to perform to. And Sarah's been great at getting all that together for us and keeping it, every song within a time limit and putting it all together on one CD. <laughs> My actual part was is that I would be leaned up on a wall somewhere in the, in the gym, in the gymnasium where we're headed, and two teachers would come and get me. And so I would go kicking and screaming. And I was taken to lay down in the center court, and a child, a, a character, came and stepped on my chest. And I would moan and groan, act like it really hurt. There would be the, um tightrope walkers and one of the tightrope walkers would fall off as they were walking across on the balance beam and then there we had four clowns at work that had been chosen to be to be the 911 people and and then one time we had one one of them that anyway they they didn't have hold of it good and we just about lost that one off of the stretcher <laughs> the ringmasters are well they first of all they open up you know welcome to the lakeside big top circus and they um, introduce every single act. And then there are several acts throughout that they, that they also help with. They, um, of course, at the beginning, you know, we started with not as many acts and, we've, and it's grown since then. You know, with the, the more teachers you have, the more acts you have, just because you, you can't have, you, you can oversaturate with kids trying to do the acts. A uh, juggler. I was a bareback rider. And I was also a bareback rider. A tightrope walker. I was a monkey and I just remember just being able to do whatever I wanted. 
<laughs> just running around all over the place. I was a monkey and I really just don't remember that much about it. Did you just say Costner? I was the elephant tamer and I eventually, to find out, got to uh, lead the elephant to step on the principal, which is also my father-in-law's chest. I was an elephant. I was actually the elephant that went out and stepped on Mr. Holt, who was our principal at the time. I was a bear. I was a dancing dog in the kindergarten circus. I was a juggler, but I wanted to be a tightrope walker, but I talked too much, so I didn't get to be a tightrope walker. I had to be a juggler. I was a lion and I used my dad's lion costume. I was a tightrope walker in the kindergarten circus. Um, I remember being really sad because I wanted, back in those days, there was a tightrope walker that fell off the tightrope and the monkeys came and like carried them off and I always wanted to be that one and I didn't get to be it so um, I was really sad but it was still fun and I love that the kindergarten circus is still going on. And I was a tightrope walker in the kindergarten circus and I liked being the tightrope walker because I could do tricks like cartwheels and things on the balance beam, but I secretly wanted to be a seal because the seals got Tic Tacs during their routine. I was a monkey. Say Fenway. I was not in the kindergarten circus. No. If I was, I would be a dancing dog, though. Yeah. I would be a dancing dog. <laughs>